So I work as a DevOps engineer along with SREs and platform engineers in my company. And even though we have same kind of job roles and tasks, there was a difference in the job title. And I was always confused what is the difference between a DevOps engineer or an SRE. And after so many years, now I have the answer. And this is what we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Cloud Champ. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between DevOps engineer and SRE. So due to the rise of cloud computing, companies have changed the way they deploy their applications. And this has led to so many different job roles. Two of them are DevOps and SRE. And even though they have kind of same job roles and task and some overlap, but there are still some important differences that we are going to discuss in this video. So throughout the video, we will be comparing SRE and DevOps engineer on certain factors like what is the definition, what job they actually do, what are the tools used by DevOps engineer versus SRE, what is the salary difference between SRE and DevOps engineer. Along with this, we are also going to discuss two important case studies. So case study by Netflix, and we will see how SRE in Netflix work to maintain Netflix architecture. And the second case study by Etsy. So we are going to discuss how DevOps engineer in Etsy work to maintain Etsy. So this way you will be able to understand how DevOps engineers are different from SRE and what are the different jobs and tasks they do. So let's get started. To differentiate between DevOps engineers and SRE, let's start with the definition or to define who is a DevOps engineer and who is a SRE. So a DevOps engineer is a person who uses software development and IT operation skills to automate the process of building, deploying and managing of software applications. Whereas SRE, SRE is somewhat different. So SRE or Site Reliability Engineer is a term introduced by Google in late 2000s. And this was originally used to describe the practices and principles that has helped Google to maintain reliability, availability and scalability of their massive infrastructure. So SRE or Site Reliability Engineer is a person who is responsible for ensuring scalability, reliability and availability of large complex infrastructures. SRE uses combination of software engineering skills and IT operations to design, implement and maintain infrastructure and services. Second point for comparison is focus and goals. So DevOps engineer focuses on collaboration, automation and CI/CD. And the main goals of DevOps engineer is to improve the collaboration between development and operation teams, to automate all the manual processes and to set up CI/CD pipelines for continuous improvement and faster deployment of application. Whereas SRE focuses on stability, reliability and availability of application, making sure that the application is up all the time. So the main goals of SRE is to reduce incidents, improve the mean time to recovery, implement best practices for monitoring, alerting and incident responses, also risk management and disaster recovery so that the application can withstand any unexpected failures. Third point for comparison is day to day activities. So day to day activities for DevOps engineer includes provisioning and configuration of infrastructure, setting up CI/CD pipelines, automating software deployment processes, monitoring the performance of infrastructure and applications, troubleshooting and resolving issues in different environments like production, development and staging, and securing the infrastructure and applications. Whereas day-to-day -day activities of SRE includes focus on ensuring software reliability and availability, monitor performance metrics and quickly respond to incidents, automate infrastructure management and scaling, conduct root cause analysis for problems to prevent future incidents. Now let's differentiate on the basis of tools and technologies used by DevOps engineers versus tools and technologies used by SRE engineers. So DevOps engineers have different set of tools depending on different workloads. For configuration management, DevOps engineer uses Ansible, Salt Stack, Chef, Puppet and more. For CI/CD, DevOps engineer uses GitLab, Jenkins, Travis CI, Circle CI. For containerization and orchestration, a DevOps engineer uses Docker, Kubernetes, OpenShift, Rancher, Mesos. DevOps engineer uses cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP. They also use monitoring tools like Prometheus, Grafana, LogDNA, ELK Stack. Whereas SRE has different set of tools and technologies depending on their workload. So the first category is SLO monitoring, and they have different tools like New Relic. Datadog, App Dynamics, and Signal Effects for this. Next is Incident Response and Management. So tools like Slack, PagerDuty, VictorOps are used for automation and orchestration. SRE uses Terraform, CloudFormation, Pulumi, and other tools for observability and tracing. SRE uses tools like OpenTelemetry, Zipkin, and Jager. And for reliability engineering, they use tools like Chaos Toolkit, 
Chaos Monkey and Litmus. So these are some of the tools and technologies which are used in DevOps versus used in SRE. Now let's look at this difference in the salary between the DevOps engineer and salary of SRE. Or if you compare the salaries of DevOps engineers versus salary of SRE, according to Glassdoor, a job search company, the national average salary of a DevOps engineer in United States is 105,000 annually. Whereas salary of SRE engineer in United States is $127,000 per year. And if you see that in India, the starting salary of a DevOps engineer is 7 lakhs per annum. Whereas starting salary of an SRE is 11 lakhs per annum. If you look at it, the salary of SRE is more compared to salary of DevOps engineer. And that is because SRE has additional responsibilities. So they are usually paid more. Now, before we go ahead and look at the case studies of Netflix and Etsy, let's discuss the skills required to become a DevOps engineer versus skills required to become SRE. So skills required to become DevOps engineers are already mentioned in this video. You can check it out. But to summarize, you need to have knowledge of Linux, Git, Cloud Provider, CI, CD, all the tools that we have discussed before. Along with that, you also need some uh, scripting and some amount of coding language. Whereas if you want to become a SRE, you need to know all the tools that we have discussed before and you need to have extensive coding knowledge because you might be asked to create an application that can scale and handle peak workloads. You also need to have excellent monitoring and troubleshooting skills. You need to have knowledge of networking, CI, CD, automation and you need to have ability to leverage tool to automate things in production. Now to understand the difference between SRE and DevOps more clearly, let's look at two interesting case studies. The first case study is by Etsy, an online marketplace, and we're going to see how DevOps engineers in Etsy have used some practices which has helped them gain a lot of profits. The second case study is by Netflix. We are going to see how SRE engineers in Netflix are able to handle Netflix at peak workloads. So let's get started. So Etsy is a pretty popular online marketplace, but in the initial days, Etsy was facing a lot of problems. One of them was to manage their growing infrastructure. And second, they didn't have any stable platform for their growing user base. So the company was looking for a solution to streamline their code deployments and to have a high performing platform for their users. That is when the DevOps engineers at the company introduced a continuous deployment process, which led them to deploy code changes to the production environment multiple times a day. Due to this, they were able to find and resolve bugs faster and they were also able to deploy new features and improvements every day. So due to DevOps engineers, this led to increased platform stability, improved performance and faster feature delivery. It also led to higher user satisfaction and profit for Etsy. So this is how DevOps engineers have helped Etsy to gain profit and to have a high performing platform for their users. Second case study is about Netflix and we are going to see how SRE engineers have made Netflix disaster proof. So everyone knows about Netflix. Netflix is a very popular online streaming platform where you can watch anime, TV shows or movies. So Netflix is hosted on AWS. So in 2007 due to AWS outage, Netflix was down, completely down. So SRE engineers at Netflix started focusing on ways to improve availability and reliability of Netflix. They started working on a project which was named as Simeon Army. And this Simeon Army is a project which consists of different tools. One of them is Chaos Monkey. So Chaos Monkey is a tool which selects any production servers and deletes it. And even if they delete the production server, there is no impact on Netflix or no impact on customers watching Netflix. That is how disaster proof Netflix architecture is. But that's not all. Simeon Army consists of different tools like Janitor Monkey, Doctor Monkey, Latency Monkey. You can check out all of them in the blog that I'm going to post in the description. This blog is by Netflix themselves. And not only this, they have made the code open source for Chaos Monkey. I'm going to put the link for GitHub as well. You can check it out. It's very interesting and I'm absolutely sure you'll love it. So this is the difference. DevOps engineer focuses on deployment practices and deployment processes, whereas SRE focuses on reliability, availability of the application, making it more disaster proof and highly available. I hope the difference between the SRE and DevOps is clear. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to CloudChamp. Thank you and have a good day.